What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you some of the best TikTok ads I have ever seen as well as some of the worst. Now this video I hope will really really just open your eyes to kind of all the creativity that people are putting on TikTok ads which is ultimately paying off and making them a lot of money. So I really hope that this video helps you to just kind of understand what sells on the platform and what does not sell because obviously we we all want to sell stuff on TikTok. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so we're going to start off with a pretty damn good ad that really caught my eye when I first saw it. And I'm sure it's doing pretty well for whoever is running this ad. So we'll just go ahead and play this right now. Many of you don't know about these $35 earbuds, but they are amazing. They're called Jive Mini they're $35, but they have all the features of expensive wireless earbuds five times the price. They have a cool matte black finish instead of the boring white finish that everyone else has. They work with both Apple and Android and have a better battery life. They have all the cool features that other expensive earbuds have, like instant pairing, intuitive tap controls, quick charging, along with having the comfortable all-day fit. They are 100% IPX4 waterproof and sweat boots as well, so you can work out and jog with them no problem. I recommend you grab a pair. They are running a 75% off sale right now. They still have stock last I checked, and I would recommend buying them before they sell out by clicking the link below. All right, so I personally think that was a great ad. It's very unique versus what I have previously done. Um, and the main thing that really caught my attention was the voiceover. Now, this isn't something that I previously tested, but it's something that I definitely want to because I actually saw an ad for one of these that I believe had over 100,000 likes. This one only has 19,000, but um, still, that tells you that they're doing pretty well. Um, another thing that really impressed me besides the voiceover was the fact that they had a ton of clips. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but they had like at least 10 different models. They were wearing the product. They had tons of clips. They had some of like dropping the AirPods in water and just a bunch of different uses that kind of show the different features like the microphone, uh, the wireless charging, stuff like that. And really just an excess, I would say, of clips. I mean, they had at least like 30 on there, uh, which is definitely way more than I do. But I think really overall, it was a very clean ad. And uh, really the only things that I would possibly nitpick here is A, announcing the price on your ad. I get the price is a big selling point for this product because AirPods are like 300 bucks or something. And these are only 35. So in this scenario, it kind of makes sense, but it's not necessarily something that I would do on any of my products. And then also the ad copy, in my opinion, is not very good. Uh, so it just says get yours today before they run out. It doesn't say like they're on sale from $160 to $35. Um, and really just there's no arrows as then like kind of pointing people towards the shop now button. Um, overall, it's a great ad, but I think the ad copy could definitely use some improvement. And then I also like to put kind of like a call to action at the end of my video ads. All right, so we're going to follow up on that great ad with an absolutely terrible ad and uh, most likely a scam website as well. So I think this overall just makes this uh, a very, very good example of what not to do. So I'll just go ahead and play this video for you and let it speak for itself. All right, so that was literally it. It was roughly a 10 second clip of, uh, of a, a gaming table, I guess. It's like carbon fiber. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of a cool table and not even a bad ad. The funniest part about this is they're actually running an ad for a gaming chair. Uh, they didn't share the, they didn't show the chair once, but if you click the shop now button, yeah, that's what they're selling. They're selling a $20 gaming chair, which is either absolutely awful or they're just straight up scamming people but um anyway i think there's a lot that we can take from this ad even if they were still selling this honestly really cool table one of those being the ratio 
of the video. So as you notice, or as you may have noticed with the last ad, it was a nine by 16. So it was a vertical video that fits in very, very nicely with your TikTok feed. This is the exact opposite because they literally just took a YouTube video and stole it and threw it on TikTok ads. And that's why it's not a very effective video. It's very, very small and it doesn't look that small on this uh, viewpoint. But if you were to see this ad when you were scrolling through TikTok, it's going to be like this big while the rest of your content is like this big. So obviously it's not going to attract your attention that much. And yeah, you're probably not going to buy it unless you want to get a $20 really cool gaming desk that you're not going to get. So um, in addition, there's a lot of things that are also wrong with this. One of those being the music. Um, so I'm not saying you have to do voiceovers. Like I said, I haven't tested those, but I really, really prefer doing like trendy or uh, kind of like just music that attracts people's attention. Not necessarily like the the average dropshipping music that doesn't have like lyrics or is just, yeah. Definitely try to get something that goes along with your product and the audience demographic and have something that's very, very attractive as far as uh, audio goes because TikTok is a very, very um, audible platform. So in addition, I would say that you really should aim to have an ad that's at least like 20 seconds long. The next ad I'm going to show you is not 20 seconds long, but uh, in my opinion, that's really performed best for me. Um, and then just having something that shows multiple angles and multiple features of the product. Like for the last video, they showed like the waterproof, they showed uh, wireless charging, they showed tons of people wearing it. They just had an excess of clips that show different uses of the product. And in this, it literally just shows you like this cable and then you can throw like your Xbox controller and it has like a cup holder on it. Um, that's basically about it. I'm sure there's a lot more cool things that this product can do. Oh, there's like some headphones and stuff. But um, yeah, overall, just really working on the, um, the dimensions of it, showing more features, getting more music, um, and overall, just having like kind of a, a cleaner video. Like this is clean, don't get me wrong, like the white background and everything. But that's not what sells. It's almost like a stock photo and video form. And uh, that's not something that's really engaging and really going to catch people's eyes on TikTok ads. The last thing that I can say about this ad is that uh, their ad copy needs a lot of work. Now, it's almost better than the last co ad copy, but uh, it could still definitely use some improvement. So it says, only $19.99. Now, I wouldn't put the price in the ad copy, even if it's like a, a big selling point. Um, and then there's no space between like the exclamation points and limited. I also wouldn't do more than one exclamation point because in my opinion, it's kind of unprofessional. And then it says limited quantity, hurry up. And it just like, like it's not a sentence. Uh, there's no arrows. There's no comma right there. Um, it could definitely use some work. It doesn't even say the product name right here, probably because that product isn't what they're actually selling. All right, so next thing is going to be a very good example of having a clear and concise ad that catches people's attention and really sells them. If you wake up with a pimple, it is easy to cover so you don't have to deal with. And men's concealer is a real thing. Boom. All right, so the reason why I like this ad so much is that it's very, very easy to watch. It's kind of like um, almost like an, a, a scroll stopper in itself just because it's a product that you uh, kind of get impressed by in a way just because like concealer for men isn't something that you necessarily hear that often. Um, so I think that's a really, really good example of having kind of like a, I, I don't want to say a virality product, but just having something different that really catches people's attention. So another really good thing that they're doing is offering a discount code. Now, I don't personally do this because my products are already on sale, but if you want to, I think this is a really, really great way to encourage people to buy from you because it's like TikTok 50 and it kind of gives the impression that that, at, like that discount is only going to be eligible when they click shop now, right now, and buy it right now. Or at least that's kind of the vibe that I get from it, especially when it says get 50% off today, meaning today is the only time you can get 50% off. So the last thing that I can say that I really like that they did is had a model that kind of gave you like that trust and that personal recommendation. And in addition, they had a call to action at the end with their discount code. So the last thing is going to be cosmetics and skincare design for men. I think this is a really long TikTok description. I don't even know if this fits on it, but um, 
regardless, I think it's a, a pretty good example of an ad copy. The only things I would do here is say off in capital letters and then having an arrow at the end that points to the shop now button. All right, so this is going to be our next video and I'll go ahead and play this. So there's a couple of things I like about this ad and a couple of things that I do not. I'll get into the positives first. One of those being it's more of like a native ad. So they have the TikTok text right here that makes it you think like it's just a normal video when you're scrolling through TikTok. And then you have this really good scroll stopper, which is the like 1500 two grand in cash right there, which is obviously something that really catches most people's attention. Um, also, I kind of like the fact that they used a fisheye lens to record this. Um, just because it's not necessarily something that you see often on TikTok. So when you do see it, it's going to catch your attention. Um, in addition, this is definitely not an e-commerce ad by any means, but their ad copy is actually pretty, pretty good in my opinion. It's just like straight to the point and it kind of uh, makes people curious in my opinion. Like it, it says nothing about how you're going to make extra cash. It's honestly a little sketchy. Um, but right here it says 10 apps, so where it just says make extra cash while you're bored this summer, that really, really hits home, I would imagine, to like broke high school kids that want to make some money. Now, the things that I don't like about this ad is the fact that it's very, very short. Now, granted, they're not necessarily showing all the features of a product, so it doesn't have to be that long. But I think that there's a lot more explaining that they could do instead of just going for like full curiosity. Because in my opinion, if I saw this ad, even as a broke high school kid, I may be a little bit sketchy. So maybe having something besides two grand in cash is it's going to make people trust you a lot like that personal um, trustworthiness that you got from the model in the last ad. One thing I also really, really like about this ad is the fact that they use kind of like a trending sound. This is uh, not a song that I've heard before, but it goes along very, very well with TikTok in general and also with the video. So it's a great example of what I was talking about like one or two videos ago about trending sounds. Going back to the ad copy, I would definitely recommend that they have something in here that kind of says like click learn more or just some sort of call to action because they frankly have none. Um, or even like a discount code like we were seeing uh, with the last ad. And if you're not going to do that, or you can do this in addition, having some sort of scarcity like saying, you know, get a $10 sign up bonus today or something like that, I think would really, really increase their conversion rate. All right, so this is going to be the last ad that we uh, kind of break down here. All right, so there's a lot that I can critique here. Uh, one of these being just the absolutely obnoxious kind of whatever it says, best mini mount magnetic phone holder. Uh, yeah, don't have text in your TikTok ads. If you are gonna have text, do it like the last ad did and have it like kind of like TikTok text in a way. Um, so this straight up looks like a Facebook ad. I'm sure it is that they just ripped and put it on TikTok and this needs a lot of work. So another thing is the music. I think we already explained that, don't necessarily need to get into it. Um, another thing is the dimensions, just like one of the previous ads that we just looked at. Um, the dimensions are one by one, which is not necessarily the worst, but it's definitely not the best. So if you can just do nine by 16, even if that, even if that just means that you're blurring the top and the bottom of the ad. In addition, I would definitely recommend that they work on their ad copy. As we've kind of said before, um, having a call to action and also some arrows at the end is really going to help your click through rate. And also I do like how they said best mini magnetic car phone holder. Um, not that that's a good name by any means, but if they said like mini magnet holder or something like that, like that's what they called their product and they just put that right here. And then they said like, you know, 50% off or whatever, get yours here and have like some arrows. I think that would convert way better than their current ad copy. And then the last thing that I can really say is 
they are showing their ad in a lot of different uses, which is great. It's in the car. It's in the crib. It looks like that guy's in the crib. Um, on the fridge, I guess, in the shower. Like, there's a lot of different places where you can put this product, which is definitely good. Um, however, it doesn't necessarily show how it gets there because I'm pretty sure you can't just stick your phone on it. I think you got to have something on your phone first. And uh, there's also some other features that's not necessarily same, like, you know, can you take it off of this car or wherever you want to mount it? Um, I don't really know. I think that there's a little bit more that they could have done as far as just having more clips because um, there's only, like, maybe five or ten clips in there. Not that that's a bad thing, but when they're, like, two-second clips and the ad is only 12 seconds long, you know, that is kind of a bad thing. So I really hope that you guys kind of understand what's going through my mind when I see these winning creatives and these really bad creatives. Obviously, I would love to just show you all my winning ads, but I, I can't really do that just because I kind of make my living off of e-commerce. And if I had all my subscribers competing with me, I would make significantly less money. So I really hope that you guys kind of got an idea of just my winning ads and what they look like, even if I wasn't able to just straight up show them to you. And if you really enjoyed this, definitely let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to kind of go over some more winning creatives or some more bad creatives and I'll uh, let you know what I think about those. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that it helped you kind of understand what's working on the platform and what's not and where the gap is between people that are successful with TikTok ads and people that are not. So if you guys have any video suggestions as far as TikTok ads go or drop shipping or this crazy view behind me, then definitely just drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you in the next one.